have not told Chris yet that I've lost my wallet. I'm a little, little nervous. something that I'm gonna call a mishap recap. You see, back when we were in Utah and we are doing the whole Zion thing, Canyonlands, Capitol Reef, Bryce Canyon that you'll see this week, well, some things happen. Things that are possibly out of our control or things that should have been in our control that weren't. While we were at Zion, I took Miss Ad, which you'll see here in a little bit. We went and watched a video and we did the presentation with the Ranger and we kind of drove around the park for a little bit, just me and her. We rode the buses like you're supposed to. And then we went out for a nice lunch. However, when we sat down in the restaurant, I reached over to grab my wallet, you know, so that we could pay for the lunch we were about to receive and my wallet wasn't there. Now. Y'all know by now that we have this little thing in our house called the responsibility speech. I'm looking at you, lady. Boy, did I get it. You see, I'm not scared of my wife, per se, until I do something that is worthy of the responsibility speech that I love to give. So, I got one. Or two. <laughs> So, Miss Ad and I are heading back up to the National Park today because the Junior Ranger program is only every other day for one of the things that's required to do. And we found out when we got back to the cow last night, uh, Chris was reading through some stuff and they said, well, if, if the ranger's not there for that particular portion of the, the program, whatever it is you're supposed to do, then it, we could have asked to watch a video and that would have sufficed because, you know, some people don't spend more than a day at Zion even though you could spend a long time there, as long as you know how to navigate and, and realize that you gotta get on buses to see the stuff you wanna see. But we're gonna head up to the visitor center today and talk to one of the rangers and find out just what we need to do because by golly, we're getting her another badge today, aren't we? Here we go. So Miss Ad and I ran real quick up to the visitor center to find out about the Junior Ranger led programs and they're at the museum, which is stop number two. So we're jumping on a bus real quick to see if we can make part of that because, well, it just started. So we're going to try. Uh, so we took Ad and and watched the, the the little class that was given by one of the Rangers, and then we watched the video, and then we went back to the truck. And I was going to take Addy out for a nice lunch, except one thing: when we sat down, my wallet was missing. I've checked my pockets, I've checked my pants pockets, and it is not there. Uh, I checked all through the truck, it is not there. So we're headed back to the museum. That's the only place I could think of that it might have fallen out of my pocket because we were watching the little movie about the park. I have not told Chris yet that I've lost my wallet, and I won't until we've searched the, the museum and the visitor center and the parking lot on the way. Um, I'm a little, little nervous to tell. I went too far. I went too far. I need to go this way. So at this point in the story, Mikey's terrified that he's lost his wallet almost 2,000 miles away from home, has his personal credit card in it, his business credit card in it, his personal information. If somebody was to find his body off the side of a cliff somewhere, they'd at least know who it was so they could tell Chris so she could give me the responsibility speech in my casket. Or maybe Chris pushed you off the cliff because there was no evidence. 
I was going around asking rangers, volunteers, little old ladies, cleaning ladies, bus drivers, anybody I could think of, had they seen this wallet? This one, this one right here. I'm like, hey, it's got Jeremiah 29 11 on it. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. <laughs> plans to give you hope and a future. Well, I hope that I had a future by finding my wallet. And finally, so there's few things that are more terror striking than losing your wallet a couple thousand miles away from home. I guess I should. I mean, I don't think anybody messed with it. It was still sitting there, but I better check and make sure. Okay, yep. All credit cards are there. <laughs> And the six dollars I had in my wallet still there, so we're good. Now we can go to lunch. So needless to say, I always check anywhere I go and before I leave anywhere if I have my wallet. I'm not saying that's because she made me recite the responsibility speech 20 different times. I'm just saying that because I don't want to feel that uncomfortable that far away from home. Getting credit cards sent to you while you're out on the road that far away from home would probably be a hassle if I live through it. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't become a member of the Croc Posse, our slow cooking, fun loving RV traveling family, click subscribe down below. And if you want to know as soon as I do something stupid, I mean, if you want to know when we put up a new video, click the little bell that we call the dingaling. And whatever y'all do, laugh often. Eat good food. Let's be good. And don't lose your wallet. And if you do, don't tell my wife. This is my wallet. There are many like it, but this one is mine, and I will not lose it again. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, like the Patreon, link below.